Hello and welcome to Dell's Gaming. I'm Dell and this is the From the Depths Designer. Uh, this is part two of the Turtle Battle Cruiser build. Um, the original starting part of this video unfortunately did not record properly, uh, so it will start with this text section partially completed already and it's more a review of the systems I have put in rather than seeing the building process uh, which makes it a shorter video but it's a pity because I had a whole load of talking about various items in the video and uh, what I thought was good practices for everything from engines to missile systems and how and why and unfortunately that's all not come through on the recording software there's basically a corrupt file um, such as the uh, problems sometimes with recording anyway on to the actual video so without further ado let's go and have a look at the ship as it is and welcome back um, the hull is now done and a little bit more I did actually record me doing a whole load of extra items on here but my recording software did not record it so I was chatting to myself and telling you all about the missile systems and the engines and everything else I've done on here and no one was actually it was wasn't being recorded so no one's ever gonna hear every all of the rubbish I was talking about which is possibly actually a good thing um, uh, but then again that's annoying and I must remember to check to make sure that the system is recording before I start talking so uh, sorry about that um, you won't see all of the um, items but anyway I'll go over some of the bits so we've done the basic certification and it is sort of floating now um, I had to bung in a load more wood in here there's some bits I'm not happy with this central section is okay but it's a big slab on the side which is just going to be a big target for the enemy that's uh, going to be firing at us at the side when we're in a broadside so I'm not necessarily happy with that section and I might need to do something with it uh, to improve it either we'll put some shields on it of course but it might need something a little bit more I've just I've got a feeling that's going to get blasted to, to buggery um, obviously we've got the AI a little further down is going to be in this section which is effectively below the water line so that's okay but this top section may get taken out um, but that's the nature of the things we, I've put stuff in there which isn't critical right bits that I did um, I've added in an engine one of my standard triple raised designs with the connectors um, we've got about 9,000 power although it says um, 6,000 here on the right hand side it says 9,000 so I'm not sure which one's true but anyway we've got enough power now this is using my triple design with the uh, I've used in the other boats other ships uh, with uh, connectors and the cylinders um, look on those why the other ships for the design it doesn't use any game mechanics to get the power it's just what I class as a, a solid uh, engineering build of the engine uh, so in that regard it's, it's, it's a safe if anything happens in the future they change the mechanics the engine won't suddenly stop working which is what I thought was important now what I decided with the missiles is this vehicle's got a bit large now um, what are we up to? We're up to 5,300 blocks. So we've already gone over what I said was going to be cruiser size, which was 4,000. But we're not into capital. So we're into, I'm going to call it battle cruiser, I think, um, sort of size. Not capital ship, but damn close to it. Um, now, what I've done with the missile, so it's going to have to take the place of the missile cruiser as well as the basic gun cruiser. So we've got the four guns, which is good, and the AA guns, which is also good. Um, what I've done with the missiles is I've created two missile systems. The first one at the front is just a simple four block missile system um, laid out with an ejector. And this is just an infrared with a turn and some two warheads. And its main aim is to attack the same item that the guns are going off, uh, trying to shoot 
we work out the range range is going to be uh, not tremendous um, with two fuel tanks it should get out to about a thousand meters about 900 something like that as a maximum which is fine uh, but it's just going to do 20 missiles and keep firing them because they're only four block they'll reload pretty quickly so it will be able to put a fair consistent rate of fire out with missiles and that's the uh, primary hope there with a couple of warheads so it's going to do a reasonable amount of damage um, obviously if a, if an item has decoys uh, these won't work it's not laser guided and I did think about laser guiding them but um, and I might still do that because that will actually mean I could put either more fuel or you know because I can remove the one turn with a laser designator and either put a better thin or more fuel or more warheads so it might do that if combat testing shows that it's the, the missiles aren't operative aren't very good but this has got guns it's not relying on the missiles the guns are its main um, weapons uh, the missiles are just there as, a, as a, an additional uh, to cover this time when the guns are not being effective uh, to get through shields so if it's shielded the missiles are working if it's um, if it's got lambs instead of shields then the uh, guns will work so you know and if it's got both then it's not going to have very strong shields or very strong lamb it's going to be one or the other AA, the second set of missiles are is purely for an AA defense or primarily aimed at AA defense um, its makeup is two sections of missiles one is a four block missile which is designed as a uh, just a quick turning quick firing um, uh, missile uh, so its main is close range just to get hit one block off very quickly and the second set is a five block missile which is a bit faster so it's going for more that uh, interception style of um, missile rather than a dogfighter missile so it's equivalent to these are asrams and these are amrams if you had to put it into a modern day equivalent just to give a, a little bit of a difference um, so that should cover the, the range is going to be fairly short only about five six hundred meters they'll fire them all off as soon as something comes in within about five six hundred meters uh, we'll do a bit of testing on the exact distance i'll start at 600 i think uh, if we can do it on that but it will be only aiming at the high you know, flying targets as such that will be its main priority um, we didn't have to put two aas in here and we're going to sort that out now so this is our main deck uh, for our systems and we will be moving our chair in here next i think so we're going to have two ai mainframes i'm going to put the first one down just uh, here and then we'll put the second one will go behind there and then we'll put our chair our little control chair uh, can go somewhere near the main AI because this is going to be the the main control AI and let's see what we're going to have on this AI we're going to need a couple of left and right slots because we're going to need a naval AI let's take off the uh, mirror line there we go a naval AI and we're doing a target prioritization and an aim point selection so i'm going to go for that one now this one and oops we are going to put a go back here a wireless transmitter on channel one so that's radio one and this one is going to be radio two whoops there we go All right we'll put a left and right on this as well but it's only going to need a target prioritization. Now, at the moment in the game, there's no need to have all of the radars and uh, all those type of bits and pieces. Um, so I'm not using them. Where are they? They're down here somewhere. Rate tracker laser. The tracker laser, I, I don't know if it actually has an effect at this moment. It's supposed to increase the um uh what is it where's it where's the right one yeah um improve firing accuracy and i'm not sure whether that is actually true but i might put one of those on actually because yes it's it's potentially got a benefit 
Uh, we'll just put it on the top here. It's not really a really tracker laser. There we go, and a wireless receiver on channel one. Channel radio one. There we go, and then we'll just put some blocks behind it. Yeah, it's just it's just up there. If it gets if it gets damaged, uh, yeah, I'm not really too too worried about that. That's just a, a little minor um, one. If it helps the guns, whoopie do. Um, if it doesn't, then it just points at the target we're aiming at. So um, either way, it's not really a big problem. Right. Um, priorities for this. Um, we didn't, uh, the intention is to have this uh, fairly longish range um, and close in fairly quickly. Uh, minimum range, we don't want him getting too close. And when he gets into broadside, he's going to go at a fairly good broadside 80 degree angle so that all the guns come to bear on there. Uh, turning circle, I think the turning circle on this is going to be pretty damn horrendous and he's going to need a good amount of depth of water and we don't want him to go in reverse. Okay, so that's those. Now, the target prioritization, and this is the main guns, so this has set everything to zero. Basically, he's going for the biggest target out there. So, block count is going to be the biggest item. If he's fast, that's actually a minus in my view and also altitude is a big minus as well we want surface targets not aerial targets um, if there's a difference on these then something which has got propulsion is and uh, an AI's has a priority so uh, that's its prioritization for there and this one is aerial targets so set all to zero so block count is minor. The main bit, altitude, is actually a positive. The higher this is, the more chance this will go for it. Uh, let's say about there. And also, the faster the target, the more chance this has of going for it. So this is going to go for fast, high targets. Uh, range is not really effective, although we'll give a little bit. If, if there's two similar targets, it'll go for the closer one. Propulsion, those with the most propulsion will also um, be a value. Uh, the rest of it, not really as interested in. Uh, so that would be that sorted out. Okay, uh, control blocks. This is going to be, we haven't put any engines on here yet. Uh, but we're going to need to put some control blocks. Now, I am going to be armoring this place up a little bit more. I'm going to put another layer of armor all around the side. So let's put these control blocks behind me. Um, so they're here, two, three. I go there, and then I'm going to put some... Because we'll put some nice metal beams, I think, um, on the side. Whoops. There we go. Not exact, but uh, hey, hey ho, should help to mitigate. If we start getting hit uh, in testing, we'll see if we're getting hit through the missile bay. If the missile bay is getting hit and in that, then we have got room to put another layer of uh, something above us just to help there. Um, that should do for the moment, so we can see all of these areas. Now, height wise, we want this. I'm going to want this to go into the water uh, once it's within range of um, the target and speed up. So I'm going to sort that out now, offline. Um, I'm going to put the propulsion on the back, um, put the shields on, and sort out the controllers to turn the shields on and off and uh, get it to go under the water when it's within range of the target and pop out the water if there's nothing else left to um, uh, deal with and put a few little bits like some repair tentacles and repair bots on here. That should push it basically up to about the five and a half thousand mark I'm guessing somewhere in that region. So 
back in a little while on this um, particular bit. We'll show it before we do the combat testing. So see you in a short while. And welcome back to the, for the moment, finalized Turtle Cruiser. It's an ugly son of a gun, but I like it. Um, it's, yes, it's got bigger. It's even bigger. It does does get move around now. It's 6,300 blocks, so well above cruiser status. So although I've called it called it a cruiser, I think it's going to be battle cruiser um, uh, from now on in in the uh, next videos. I think you'll see it as, as I'm going to save it and mark it as battle cruiser. You can see there's plenty of shielding. Um, I did have to up the engines a little bit because uh, with all those shields the engines couldn't quite keep up with it so I did put a little extra shielding in there um, ammo production might need a little work on but next in the next video is going to be combat testing so we'll test it against some various ships so hopefully we've got a win we've got a winner here I'm, I'm liking some parts of it I'm not liking the looks 100% but um, it goes in the water quite nicely. It um, holds a nice at altitude. At the moment there's a bug in the program so it doesn't detect when there's no enemies around unfortunately. But you can see it holds a nice altitude roughly which just keeps the top um, guns out of the water and the bottom ones do tend to pop up as it porpoises a little bit. Uh, the rear is a little high at the moment I'm trying to, I might try and balance that out at a later date if we get problems and we're finding they're attacking the rear of the ship a little too much. But uh, generally, happy with it. Um, definitely turtle based, you know, long flat uh, with its little uh, turtle shell on top. Um, so, yep, like it. Anyway, see you in the next video for the uh, combat testing. But until then, have fun.